Welcome to the Shelly Studio and another video for the hashtag event CAC Fan Art. Um, here I am using an art journal page that I just put some leftover paint on just in one little strip with a texture sponge and decided I would just collage some. Now this is a dictionary text um, just to give some texture to the background. I kind of have an idea of what my subject matter is going to be. I just don't know where it's going to go at this point, so I am just putting that on. And the main focal point, or the subject, is one of the words in that dictionary section. And um, yeah, it'll be a surprise. Well, in a minute it'll be a surprise. So if you haven't heard about the hashtag event, um, if you put hashtag CAC fan art in the search bar on YouTube, you will um, find lots of videos by lots of different artists doing all kinds of things using the term fan art as their prompt. So, um, like I said in my previous video, fan art to me is art based on fiction, um, like books or movies. I do know some people are, well, they've said they might be doing it on art on a fan, which would be interesting. Um, so here I picked two colors. Um, the one is called Citrine. I thought it would be an interesting green color. Citron. Yeah. And then the other one is Khaki. <laughs> and well, I bought the yellowy green color because I thought it would be prettier than what it looks like and I'm not sure why I picked those two colors maybe because I thought they were kind of ugly um, or maybe I thought they were retro kind of 70-ish is that a hint <laughs> um, as to what this is going to be and I'm just painting around the dictionary pages, um, not really knowing how I want the background to look at this point. I'm just kind of playing around with what I have. And so I decided that was enough of the khaki, so we're going on to the citron. And I'm um, going to put that on. And I, I don't mind it. I like it okay. It's just not my favorite color. But I've used it a little bit in a few different things and you know I like it but it's just like I said not my favorite color <laughs> but I think it works really well for this page you'll see in the end you know I was watching some other artists the other day and I'm sorry I can't think of her name and she had a, clean, a journal page that had cleaned off paint and it was two contrasting colors and one of them was yellow ochre and I can't remember what the other one was well red I think they kind of went together okay and then she went and she put teal on top and then brushed it away a little bit so that you could see all the different colors and I was like oh this is gonna be hideous but it ended up gorgeous I don't know I guess um, I need to work on my color theory more so I know what's gonna go good together um, I've always just kind of gone by instinct probably should read up on it anyway getting back to my page um, so I just decided I would do a light wash over the text pages um, yes and there I'm just adding a little bit of I believe it's Payne's gray and I just took a little out of the lid and added it to the khaki color just to give a dark edge around everything and I do the same thing with the citron I add some out of the lid that one ends up to be a little bit darker and I just work my way around the page
And I decided I want to cover up that green just a little bit more. Just have it be background texture. So now I am going to um, use a stencil and this is just a gray along with the black to make it a little bit darker. And that black's almost, that's jet black, it's almost empty. Um, after this I think I end up putting water in there and turn it into a wash. And here I'm going for some real, uh, so the lines don't end up being too sharp, but I was going for angles and sort of man-made look. That's why I'm using a more angled stencil rather than an organic looking stencil. Because I want it to look really man-made and futuristic if that's another hint. If you haven't figured out yet what it is, I don't, I don't think you can see the words on the dictionary. I'm just going around the whole border, well, more than the border, just to get that. I'm leaving a little bit of an area in the center. That's where my focal point will go. So here we go. Now you should know what it is. <laughs> um, so I just drew some outlines of R2D2 and C3PO and created stencils. And it's just copy paper, so it's not real sturdy, but hopefully um, it will be good enough and I'll keep the paint dry enough that um, it won't seep out too much. So there's the three colors I have, and that's Citron, True Blue, and Payne's Gray. And just combining them, and just going to do like a rough texture inside of our 2D2. Trying to be really careful not to let um, paint get underneath the edges of my homemade stencil. There we go, there's our two. And then this one, um, drew him the opposite direction, so I had to flip over my paper. You can see that it's scrap paper. C-3PO the same way. And I'm just pouncing that around, making sure the sponge is fairly dry so it takes a little bit more pouncing to get good coverage. And there we go, C3PO! So now I decided that I still wanted my edges darker and I liked this bluish color so I am just adding it 
not trying to fill the whole space of the stencil, but just kind of getting those lines in again. And it kind of brightens it up, I think. So I don't know if you noticed that I have um, C-3PO and R2-D2 kind of off to the side. Well, it puts C-3PO right in the middle, but the grouping of them is off sides because they say you shouldn't put things dead center. Um, it makes for a more appealing picture if you um, put them off center. Um, so now I have a bit of blank space on the left hand side that we're going to have to come up with something. And I need my journaling, so that's probably where that's going to go. So there we go. And I decided I would paint um, some letters and do the word Star Wars on that side of the journal. Cause I didn't know what else I would put really. And I didn't think you needed to watch me paint all the letters. Um, these are cork letters and I just decided to skip to the end because um, it was all the same. I was just painting Payne's gray over the top of them, trying to cover up the brown of the cork. Give a few of them little extra coats with the leftover paint and now we're going to stick them on. And I almost forgot that I'd put a little post-it note over, oh no it was washi tape over the section of dictionary that talks about the Star Wars movie. And I'm just going to stick these down. And I don't want to cover up that section of dictionary. So I started below, but I decided it, there wasn't enough room. So we're going to move that up. Try to get that centered. Normally I would start in the center and work my way out, but I wanted to make sure that we kept that section open of the dictionary page. I do shift this all a little bit, keep, keep moving it around, but I do finally decide. And I end up putting um, Elmer's Craft glue on it just to make sure it stays because sometimes um, stickers on acrylic paint don't stick all that well. Then I decided this wasn't noticeable enough so I'm just taking a black pen and outlining with a little box so you don't miss it. So I hoped you liked my little art journal page. Um, if you did please hit like and please comment feel free to share and if you'd like to see more from me please subscribe. 
Thanks for watching.